This morning, a teenager is recovering after being shot in the face in the heart of downtown Detroit. Police are now searching for three people. That shooting happened at Grand Circus Park. 7 Action News reporter Matthew Smith is live in downtown where the teen was ambushed. And Matthew, do police know how this happened? Well, they do know how it happened because of where this happened. Uh, this is Grand Circus Park, and I want to show you not only is it all lit up for Christmas, but you also have security cameras like here. Uh, you notice that the queue line just stopped here. This is some of the safety features that they put in here. And because of that, the shooting happening just about 25 yards away from here. The whole thing was caught on camera, and now police know exactly who they're looking for. I was walking down the street here. I'm seeing, I'm seeing Fox Theater, you know, I'm like, oh, okay. And a whole bunch of police cars just rushing, rushing, three, four. Those police rushing to the area of Grand Circus Park after a young man, just 18, was shot in the face. Police say he was staying near Adams and Woodward when three people came up to him, started a fight, then a shot was fired that hit the teen in the face and neck. This morning, he's in stable condition, and the two men and a woman responsible are on the run. For whatever reason, the altercation escalated into a shooting. We did uh, find that there was some uh, marijuana left at the scene, so I'm not sure if it was some sort of transaction taking place. Uh, again, we're still investigating and trying to figure that out. Whatever the reason for the shooting, police want the three off the street, and those who saw the scene unfold, they're telling 7 Action News they want to know more too. Yeah, I heard the gunshots, but I wasn't far, I was too far to like know who did it and what, where they got, you know. Now, Matthew, have police arrested anyone in connection with the shooting? So, Leash, they initially pulled two people off the street, but they ended up not being the suspects. Again, they have these people on camera, so they'll be able to compare once they get an idea of who the exact people are because they were captured on camera during this ambush style attack, as they explained. But one of the people was not involved, so they were released. A second person was held for unrelated charges. But right now, those three people, the two men and the one woman, all on the run. We're thinking about that teenager in the hospital this morning. Thank you, Matthew.